what is up it is your girl and your daddy here Chiquabola, and I'm back with another video um you guys know that I wanted to do like a back to school drive so um, I've had a lot of people message me and telling me that they are willing to help me out with my back to school supply drive um, and my dad and I are currently at Walmart um, getting some school supplies I actually have quite a few few school supplies here um, I got a few people messaging me telling me that they have book bags and stuff for me already so um, I'm just getting what I can for right now and then um, I will eventually go out and pass out the book bags I'm super excited to do this because you don't see a lot of people going out there doing things like this for children that that are in need and I feel like I have to give back to my community um, because a lot of people have helped me and I just think it's good to give back to others. So, there's Duran back there. But yeah, we're just getting our school supplies and stuff right now. Um, not a lot. We'll probably come back tomorrow and get the rest. But, um, but right now, we're just shopping for a little bit. So, we got some of our stuff for right now. Um, we're going to go to a couple other stores, I do believe, so to look at other school supplies. But right now, I'm just scanning everything. Like these folders were only 15 cents. Look at that. So far I've only spent $3.76. <laughs> I like to be cheap, guys. So we shopping cheap today. Um, but I'm gonna finish checking out right here. Uh, Darren and I are gonna finish checking out and we will probably see you at the next cool. door. Yeah. Hey guys, what is up? Um, today I am going to be filling some of the book bags that I have received from my donation um, supply. Um, I got four of them yesterday, so I'm gonna fill four of the book bags up today and then I am getting the rest tomorrow, so I will probably do the rest in like a couple days because I probably won't get the chance to go to the store tomorrow to get the rest of the supplies but for now I got four of these little kids book bags and they are so cute like look at this one so I got this one for a little girl um this one I guess could go for a boy or a girl because it's got just toy story on it and there's a girl on there and then I have this one, which I think I might use this one for like an older kid, like third or fourth grade, probably not like um, preschool and kindergarten in first grade. And then I also have this one and they're, they're super cute. I'm super excited to fill them up. I got a lot of supplies. I, I got these cute supplies. I got these scissors right here. I got, um, erasers I almost said markers but I got erasers right here um, I got these folders right here and by the way this video is not sponsored but all these items that I got from like the school supplies I got them from Walmart and they're really cheap like these folders were only 15 cents a piece um these come in a pack there's two in a pack and I think they were only like a dollar a piece to be honest with you these were only like 47 cents or something like that these little pencil packs and then I got crayons and stuff and I got um, glue sticks and all that and then these book bags my friend actually got online from office max they were on sale $10 a book bag so she got me four of them so I appreciate that appreciated that very much so what I'm going to be doing in this video is basically packing these book bags and I think I'm gonna go with the purple scissors for this book bag. I could do pink either way, but sorry. And I actually have um, a few people already that I know who I'm giving the book bags to and everything. Um, I've had a few people message me, you know, asking if I could give them a book bag, and obviously I'm gonna tell them yes. Um, I'm, I'm limited, but 
basically it's first come first serve. Whoever messages me first, and then I've also had messages of people telling me that they appreciate it and they wish that there were more people like me out here who are willing to do something like this. And it just makes my heart super happy, guys. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna give this folder, this purple folder, and put it in the bag with the um, purple scissors. And then what a, a really cute thing that I also got was like these little um, crayon packs actually from Walmart. So I bought packs of crayons and then I'm gonna put them in here. So I thought that was really cute. And then in the pencil boxes, I'm just going to split them because I have these, they're like a 20 pack. So I'm gonna split them between the four. What's four? Four divided by, oh, I guess I could give them more than that. I actually have two of these, there's 40. So I'm going to stick the pencils in here, a couple pencils in there, um, some scissors, and then one of these glue sticks. So that's what the little pencil box is. And then I actually already have a crayon box that's filled up because I thought it was super cute. If I can find it. Where did it go? Sorry, my hair is getting in my face. Oh, here it is. And then here it is guys, this little cute crayon box. So basically the book bags are, the little kid book bags are gonna come with a folder, a pencil pack that has, you know, pencils in it, it has glue stick, and then it has some scissors in there, and then we got the crayons right here. And so the first book bag is actually complete. Kids, don't try this at home. I need to get this plastic thing off of here, though. There we go. Ooh. Oh, look! That is super freaking cute. Look at this, guys. I did not know it came with this, but look. I'll probably just leave it in the pack, but that... Is adorable it's vampirina and it came with some vampirina um like a headband that is the cutest little thing i've ever seen oh my gosh i'm gonna put this back in here but that is so freaking cute the little girl that gets this one is gonna be super super happy and super excited because i am super excited because i did not even know that was in there That's what the book bag is gonna like look like it's got the pencil pack it's got the crayon pack and the folder in there i don't want them to see the tag so i'm just gonna take the tags myself but that is what this one um looks like guys i'm gonna do another one and then i think that'll be it for the rest of this video just because i don't want the video to be too long um this one right here is the uh um what is it toy story i'm going to use probably this orange or your yeah, orange because this is definitely orange this yellow folder so i'm gonna stick that yellow folder in there i'm not gonna use these scissors I'm gonna stick these green scissors in there because I think the green scissors would look cute in the little pencil pack. Now all the pencil packs that I got though were blue because they didn't have any other color. So it's all right. one is done and then we're gonna do the crayon packs
bag guys and there you have it the first two book bags are complete and they are ready to go um i will be back in a few days with the next uh the next video um doing the rest of the book bags um i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you next time what is up welcome back um it is Saturday. Um, there's only a few days until school starts down here and my back to school um, school supply donation has been going super, super well. Um, yesterday I just got a big pack of um, book bags. I got about 10 of them. So all together I have like 15 and I'm super excited because even though I'm not helping out a whole bunch of people, you know, it's a start. It's a start to my organization. It's a start to helping out people and it's a start to, you know, getting to where I want to be in life. And even if I'm able to help just even just one person, it could, you know, possibly change their entire world. But the fact that I'm able to help at least 15 is honestly amazing. I'm super excited to go into the store and get the rest of their um, supplies and everything. And then when I get back home, I'm going to pack them and everything. And then I'm going to message the, um, you know, all my uh, participants or whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to see if I can get their um, addresses and then deliver them today. So I'm super, super excited guys. But until then I'm going to go into Walmart and get the rest of my stuff. And I will see you when we get in there. Well guys, um, I told you I was going to record me coming in here to get my supplies, but Walmart is super freaking packed right now. There's so many people here because it's back to school. It's crazy. I'm just getting my stuff right now and I'm heading out and then I'm coming back in a little bit when it's not too crazy in here. But I did get a couple things that I'm excited about so I'm gonna go home and start packing the book bags and all that and then come back later to get the rest of my supplies when it's not so crowded in here. What is up? Welcome back to um, Just a Visions Back to School School Supply Donation. So basically, guys, um, you guys know I want to be a motivational speaker. I want to start my own organizations and everything. So um, I was planning on having like a clothing drive event, but unfortunately, it did not go as planned. So I still want to have that, but obviously, I have to have it in the future now because I have to get everything like perfect and planned out for that. So I had to improvise, and so I came up with this back to school um, supply donation because I felt like it was going to be a lot easier and a lot less time consuming than the um, event. So basically what I did is I just had, you know, wrote this little proposal as to why I wanted to give back to my community and that I was going to have this um, 
donation thing and so I had you know a couple individuals um, donate the book bags to me and then um, I had a couple people help me out with you know purchasing the school supplies so um, shout out to everybody who actually helped me make this possible because I was so stressed out with this because I really wanted to do this. I was so upset that my, you know, clothing drive event didn't go as planned. And then when I, you know, came up with this idea, I was like, you know what, this should go, you know, perfect. And, you know, it was going perfect. Everything was going perfect. I received my book bags, you know, from both my um, friends. And then I had a new, like I said, another help with, you know, purchasing the um, things. And some crap happened last night to where I literally thought I lost all my money and I was just so upset because I was like wow like this is something that I've really been wanting to do and um, then all of a sudden like my money comes up missing this is no joke guys like literally all my money that I had ready for you know my school supplies and everything went up missing last night and I was just crying throwing up pounding headache crying it was hysterically it was just terrible and <sighs> I got it resolved so I'm so thankful for everybody who helped me because without you guys I wouldn't have been able to do this without you guys it would have never been possible so I thank you guys so much who helped donated to um, you know my um, organization because <sighs> this is a good feeling for me this is a good feeling that I'm able to give back to these um, you know children that were in need and knowing that I thought I wasn't going to be able to do it really broke my heart because this is something that I've had my heart set on for the last month now that I've been wanting to do and so for me to actually be able to do it right now and you know have everything all organized and everything I'm so proud of myself for doing this because I was so upset last night but now that I know that I'm able to actually do it I feel like a sigh of relief and I can't wait to give back um to my community and I can't wait to you know go out to the community and you know give these book bags away like I said I have a list of names on here of all the um, families that have you know um, requested book bags for their children and everything um, I'm so happy that I get to go tomorrow to meet every single one of them and just give them their book bags and just to see the looks on their faces is going to be literally priceless like I'm super excited and I can't wait to be able to show you like the pictures and stuff afterwards um, once I put this video together but you know I know that I've been mumbling on and just rambling about everything so basically um, I'm gonna just show you what is in you know a few of the book bags because I don't want to uh, show you everything in all the book bags because basically it's all the same thing but I have a couple different variety of age groups that I did um, I did all children but the age groups that I got was really like from like kindergarten up until like a good like seventh eighth grade and I had like one senior so like most of the items in each of the book bags are pretty much the same guys um but like I said I'm gonna start out with the little kids because this is just something simple so this little girl got this little cute vampirina book bag and actually before I show you what's in the other part of her book bag look how cute these are like like what she can go to school with these on the first day and people are gonna be like oh my gosh look at her bat wings or she could uh save them for halloween and use them for that but look how cute they are <laughs> i'm just kidding and yes guys i only put this on i don't have lice or anything but i put it on because i know the individual that's getting this and she's not gonna care <laughs> But yeah, so in this little uh, kid book bag, there's basically just a folder in here. Um, and then there's a little pencil box. And in the pencil box, there's going to be a glue stick. There's some scissors, which I'm obviously going to let the parents know that there's scissors in their children's boxes before I give them to them. Because I don't want them trying to get in there and getting hurt. Mm -mm, ain't happening. So yeah, so there's scissors in there and then an eraser. And then this cute little crayon pack that I um, purchased. Um, these are so cute because now instead of taking the box and you know always ripping the box trying to get that thing open and like shut, now you can just literally just pop it off. 
but I thought that was really interesting, so I had to get that. Very useful. So this one is probably like a fifth or a sixth grader book bag and in this one we are going to find a pencil case and there's um, erasers at the bottom. Nothing too crazy, just something simple that I could afford. Um, they got this binder and then there's a notebook inside and then this one also has a folder in it and this one i was actually very happy because i kind of cuddler coordinated it all like i got a black binder and a yellow notebook and a yellow folder the only thing that wasn't really matching is this but it's i but yeah so that's one of my like fifth or sixth graders book bags oh, it just slipped and then So this one is gonna be our senior's book bag. And basically hers is just a little bit different just because she's a senior and she's probably gonna need a little bit more. So she has one of the bigger binders like this with a cute little notebook in there. And it says, just a girl boss building her empire. And I actually like that because I have a little notebook that's similar to this, it's just not this color, but it says the same thing super cute and that's where I write all my daily stuff in but yeah so she got um the binder and the uh, notebook as well as um, her own pack of erasers and then she also has um, more pencils in here so yeah guys that's basically what all the school supplies and stuff that I had got in and I'm super excited I mean I know it's not much but you know it's what I could afford and I'm sure they're gonna be happy either way because you know their parents weren't able to get it for them and you know I was so I think they'll be grateful either way because now they're they know that they're gonna be able to go back to school and um, actually have their stuff to go back to school and they don't have to be sad about it so like I said I'm super excited because these book bags are not even just basic like they're so cute and once they see them I think they're gonna be super freaking happy like I'm just happy looking at them, honestly. And then over here, I have a couple kids that just needed school supplies. So the one kid just needed like a notebook and a binder. And then, you know, he got his pencils and his erasers in here and all that. And then there was another little kid. His mother just, you know, kindly asked for some supplies. So what I got him is a notebook for him to write in. Um, I got him some pencils or colored pencils and then in here he's got a glue stick some scissors and um pencils and there was erasers somewhere there might be erasers in there but yeah guys that's pretty much everything that i got And then there's also one more thing, guys. I actually got these little note um, cards, index cards, whatever you want to call them, because you guys know how I want to be a motivational speaker and all that. Um, well, basically, I want them to have, you know, this good, positive mindset when they go back to school, like anti-bullying, you know, positive mindset. You know, I'm just going to be me. I'm not going to let anybody get to me. So basically, I'm just going to give them like a little motivation, maybe a couple little motivation cards, you know, for them to go back to school and like have a fresh start. And obviously, I'm going to write their names on them and stick it in their book bags. And, you know, whenever they go to school, you know, they're feeling, you know, bad about something, they can just open up their book bags, hopefully, and they'll read my little quotes and it'll make their day feel better. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's all I have for right now. Tomorrow is the big day. This is when I actually get to go meet them and you know talk with them a little bit i have to go to a couple different addresses so i'm excited because i get to go meet different people and i love meeting new people so i will see you guys tomorrow whenever i go meet them peace all right guys so today is the day um we are going out and delivering the book bags my little sisters are coming with me my dad got a little too drunk last night, so he can't drive. And even though my leg's messed up, I can still drive because it's just my left leg, okay? You use your right leg to drive, lol. But yeah, so...
Stormy's over there coming down the stairs. I don't know if you could see her or not. And then Taniqua's right here. So we are about to go to our first recipient's house. And I don't know if, I'm, now I'm not gonna say his name because I don't know if his mom would appreciate that, but um, we're gonna take pictures with them, so it's all right. So we are about to head over there right now and we will see you at the first house. guys so we are on our way to the next uh recipient's house um but you guys will probably know who it is it's just my nephews the one he's actually at his dad's house though so i'm just gonna give it to my sister and his brother my other nephew so i'm super excited though to give them their book bags for the simple fact is my nephews are really gonna like their book bags because when i asked them um what they wanted they told me what they wanted, but I wasn't sure if I was going to get them because I got the book bags donated to me and it just so happened that they got the book bags that they wanted. So I had to give them their book bags, you know, show a little, a little bit of favoritism because those are my babies, just a little bit, not too much, but I'm super excited. And my sister just asked me, are you really going to take pictures with your nephew? Uh, yeah, why wouldn't I? That's my baby. So yeah, we will see you once we get there. guys what is up um i don't know if i'm getting sick or not i feel like i am my voice is a little stuffy and congested but um we are on our way to deliver more book bags um we have three houses to go to and they are about 15 minutes away from us so my dad and my one little sister Tadiqua and i are all going to go um meet them so i'm going to message them and let them know that i'm on my way and Hey guys what's up i just want to say that i'm sorry i did not get to finish and post my back to school school supply uh donation video um basically the day that i was uh passing the rest of the book bags out i ended up getting sick that night um and i wasn't able to you know make the videos because i couldn't talk my throat was all sore and all that i was sick for like two and a half to three days but today i'm feeling a lot better so um I'm gonna finish out the video right here. Um, well, basically I finished delivering all the book bags. Um, unfortunately, I did not get the chance to take a picture with all of my recipients of the book bags because you know, when I got to their houses, you know, some of them weren't there. They were um, already out with like their dad or their, you know, grandpa or whatever the case is, which is understandable. I completely understand. I'm fine with that. Um, it's just as long as I know that they are very happy and very thankful for their book bags and everything. Um, which I'm very happy and very thankful that I was even able to, you know, accomplish something like this. Um, I know that a lot of the parents were very, very happy and very thankful as well because they were like, you know, I wish a lot more young people your age would uh, think about doing things like this, but we really don't. People my age really just think about doing things for themselves and they don't really care about others. But for me personally, I like helping people that is in my nature to help people. Um, so it was something, you know, really, really rewarding um, for myself because I was able to actually accomplish this. This is something that I've been wanting to do because um, I wasn't able to have my, you know, uh, clothing drive event, which uh, hopefully soon I'll be able to have it, but, um, I had to come up with like a plan B, I had to improvise and so I came up with the back to school uh, donation and it was it was a success. I'm super excited. I'm very, very thankful for everybody who uh, was able to help me out with this and make it such a huge success. Um, I want to thank my friend Heather because I've known her since I was 12 years old and she had given me, you know, four of the book bags that um, I was able to give out and then um, this lady named Darla. Um, I was actually going to work for her, but then I ended up getting a different job. And so we still kept in contact and everything because she really, really liked my motivation and, you know, 
who I was as a person and what I stand for as a person and just everything. Um, so we still keep in contact and everything. And she was actually the one that gave me the majority of the book bags that I received. So I'm very, very thankful for her as well as uh, Dez and her mom because without them, it wouldn't have been possible because I did have the money for the school supplies, but then some messed up stuff happened to where I lost my wallet actually I didn't lose it it got stolen and so somebody took all my money and I thought I wasn't going to be able to complete this but with the sincerity and the kind hearts of Des and her mom I was able to complete it and I'm so very very thankful for all four of them because without them it wouldn't have been possible um, so I thank them so much and one day I will repay them I'm not sure how, but I will repay them for their kind gesture and to help me fulfill, you know, one of my dreams. Um, I am super excited. I know I keep saying that, but I'm really, really excited and really proud of myself for pulling this off because this is something that I really wanted to do, um, especially as a part of, you know, just a vision and me wanting to start my own organizations and everything. You know, I had to start, um, start out small. I had to start out somewhere. And even though my original plan, plan A didn't work, plan B worked out perfectly fine. And so I'm so, so very thankful. Um, so my thing to you guys is to give back to others because it's such a great feeling to be able to give back to others knowing that you've done such this wonderful thing for them because they may have not been able to even go back to school because they weren't able to su uh, supply their children, you know, with school supplies and all that. So me being able to help out families in need is definitely, definitely a great, great experience. And I thank everybody who helped me. And for all the kids that, you know, receive book bags, I hope they have a positive and happy school year, you know, anti-bullying, positive mindset into just, you know, be able to go through school and achieve their goals and for them to live their lives to the fullest and all that um but yeah guys i don't really have much else to say but if you guys did enjoy my video make sure to give it a like make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace